something else. Once in a long while, the parallel realities of our universe cross each other, giving a precious opportunity to exchange the knowledge between the same and yet the different worlds. What kind of government is ruling your society? What is government? A government is the system to control and supervise all citizens of the states. In a patriarchal society without the government would be chaos and anarchy. Matriarchy doesn't have a government. It has also no chaos or anarchy. The mother would never allow this. In our matriarchal society, the mother and family are responsible for the child's education and best behavior. Being a mother is a highly respected profession. To become a mother, you need to study psychology, biology, pedagogy, medicine, social science. The best mothers are the superstars. They are the most powerful and the richest ones. Do you have superstars? Yes, we do. Are they mothers? Seldom. Most of them are singers or sportsmen. They are role models. They are rich, famous, they drink, like to party, use drugs, die young and early. It doesn't sound like they contribute a lot to your community. How can they be role models? It's confusing. I guess it is. Anyway, if you don't have a government, how is your society functioning? How do you control taxes, media, people? What is taxes? Money. What is money? You don't have money? How do you pay for everything? With favors. It is always just an exchange of favors. But how do you remember how many favors you did and how to get them back? You don't. To expect something back is considered bad manners. You do a favor because you want to. How is it possible? Through the right education. We all know the honor and the pleasure of helping another human being. Do you? Occasionally, but it sounds good. But how do you keep a whole country obedient? What is country? A country is a territory with a certain political, historical and cultural borders. We don't have any borders. We don't need them. But how do you protect your land, your community? Protect from whom? Violence, enemies. The only danger we know is nature in its violent state. Nothing or nobody else can do you harm. The mother would never allow this. We live in families. In your patriarchal society, how do the mothers manage? They live their lives. If they don't have a superstar status, how much do they get rewarded for the motherhood? They are never paid. We consider it's a duty that must be done for free. Mothers have other jobs, other paid jobs. Women have other jobs than educating children? When do they have the time to study how to become a mom? And if women are working, what are men doing? We never really ask ourselves these questions. We don't provide an education like that. It just happens to you and then you improvise. But women in general are doing much better these days. <laughs> They can work and have a career. They have big help from technology. They enjoy emancipation. What is emancipation? You see, there were times when women didn't have any rights. Now they have to fight for their equality with men. Equality with men? But we are not equal by nature. We are very different. Every gender needs to know its place. And what are these places? Women are goddesses and men are their protectors and providers. 
This balance is the main focus. What is your focus? Hmm. I think greed, working hard for money and status, to have more stuff, to buy more stuff, to have more stuff. The survival of the fittest, you know? I guess everybody is very rich then. Not really. A very small group of people is rich. The rest is poor. 160 million children are hungry every day. Most of them die every day. How the mother can allow her children to die from hunger? It's impossible. We have abundance of food for everyone. But how do you manage that? If you don't have real jobs, you don't seem to have an economy. We do have jobs. We are very busy. Lots of favors need to be done. We live in beautiful houses, eat the best food, maintain our planet. Besides that, we are educated all the time about the science of body and soul. We are driven by the creation of balanced and healthy members of the family. It makes us happy. What does make you happy? Well, money and wealth are substitutes for happiness. We work for a boss, he pays us money, a piece of paper which is an equivalent to your favor system. Sometimes, before the product reaches the actual consumer, it goes through many companies. All of them make money, profit. From profit, we all pay taxes to the government, a group of people that control this long process. Sounds a little bit complicated. Do all those people know each other? Not necessarily, they don't. That's why we have the money. It's the substitute for trust. Money runs everything in patriarchal society. What runs your matriarchy? Kindness. If patriarchy is survival of the fittest, then matriarchy is the survival of the kindest. If you are not kind, nobody will do a favor to you. You will end up poor and isolated. But the mother would never allow this. She would go on with educating you until you get it right. So I'm hearing that men have a quite subordinating role in matriarchy. Men are our protectors and providers. They build houses, infrastructure, protect us from natural disasters, provide food and rule the family together with the mother. We put our men on pedestal. We know that men are physically stronger. To try to dominate them is against nature. Besides that, it is very nice for a woman to feel taken care of. It's sexy. It stimulates procreation. What is the level of your technology? What is technology? Cars and planes to travel, phones to talk on the distance, Computers to learn stuff and to get connected? Oh, we don't need all of that. <laughs> we don't travel. We have everything we need within the family reach. So we don't need phones to talk to each other and we definitely don't need computers to stay connected. But aren't you curious to see America, Europe, Asia? What is that? Countries, continents. Oh, we never really left Africa. It was too much hustle. You see, women are very busy. We are not very mobile. We always have something. Or is it cycles, pregnancy, breastfeeding, cycles, menopause, cycles again. So men were proposing to move, but matriarchy is not very open to it. We are just very busy. We have no time for traveling. Do you have religions? Of course. Everybody has his own religion. Everybody? How many religions you have then? Who needs to count? Your connection with the higher power is strictly private. We don't share it with each other and we never pray in groups. 
The mother teaches us to establish a unique connection with the universe because everyone is a unique individual. What else is your mother teaching you? Um...